Hello, uh, this is a special bonus video where I have to eat crow a little bit uh, and apologize for a logical error I made in my last video. So after I posted the solve, I was talking with Marty about his puzzle because uh, I really liked it and I wanted to know more about it. And uh, although he was far too much of a gentleman to point this out, I eventually extracted from him that I had made a logical error uh, in solving his puzzle. And so I wanted to make um, a video to explain what the error was and uh, how you would go about solving the puzzle correctly. So, uh, so the error came when I was thinking about, um, and if you, if you don't know what this puzzle is, you can go back and watch the other video to get the rules. Um, most of the solve is fine. There's just one step that needs kind of an extra tweak uh, to it to, to, to complete the puzzle. So... Uh, so, so the step comes here where I have these three uh, circles that indicate kind of three different groups of cages. So this one in this circle indicates these two cages. Um, and then one of these uh, will indicate another group of cages, which all have the same friend number. Uh, and then this one will be a different group. And I said the smallest this could be is two, three. And if this was two, three, then this one would represent two different cages. This, uh, if this were the two, whichever one is the two would represent three different cages and whichever one was the three would represent four different cages. And that would represent nine total cages. And since there are 10 cages here that might have friends, uh, you might notice already the mistake I'm hinting at because I said might have friends, uh, because there are 10 cages that might have friends. If I take up nine of them, what I'm left with is one extra cage. And that one extra cage would be left friendless. And I, at this point, erroneously assumed that that can't be true. And the reason I erroneously thought that is because I had been thinking about these circles earlier and that these circles meant that in the context of this seven uh, size seven cage, that, well, it can't have no friends because it has a circle in it and you can't put a zero there. But there is a cage, a white cage, without a circle, right? Right here on row eight. And that cage could have no friends. So we could have two, three here, actually. And this could be a friendless cage. Uh, and I just completely overlooked that when thinking through this step. So the, the actual correct thing you should be doing here is not saying then, well, then therefore these must be two, four. Uh, and then we get, you know, the two would be three, three cages. The four would be five cages. And the one is... Um, two cages, giving us our 10 total cages. Instead, you need to say that one of them is two and the other one is either three or four. We don't know which one, um, it could be either. But a lot of the other deductions would still work, like this still can't be two, so it would have to be three or four. These two can't be the same as each other still. Uh, and, so, and because this is the three or four, this one has to be two. Um, this is the three or four. These still can't be the same as each other because then these would have to be the same. So that's still two. And now what we end up with is, well, now let's think about this two cage. This two cage is going to get paired with, well, it pairs with this one, and one of these four cell cages. And, and from here, we can say, okay, well, these actually can't be three. Why can't these be three? Because wherever I put the two here, I'm going to break the puzzle. Suppose this is two. If that's a two, then this cage has to sum to at least, uh, sorry, at most 11, because the, the largest this cell can be is nine, and so this sum could be as high as 11, but that's as high as it could possibly be. And so it's, and the other option is eight, it's either 10 or 11. So if this is 10 or 11, what I have to do is I have to put a one here, it's gonna go here, right? Uh, and then I'm gonna have to put either, if it's 10, I have to put three, four, and if it's 11, I have to put three, five. Either way, I put a three here, which I can't do because of this three. So the, the two cage can't go there. Oops. So, okay, well maybe the two cage can go here. Same problem. Um, to get to 10, I've got about one, three, four. That's disallowed by this three. If I want to get to 11, it's one, three, five. Still needs a three, right? Which would be disallowed by this three. So at that point I can then say, okay, these are not three, they're four. And then this cage uh, will be friends with that group of five uh, and then you know, whichever uh, this one and whichever of the two side cages that ends up being. But 
you, but you have to do that extra step. You can't, uh, or at least, you know, it's not completely logical. It, it happens to be right, but it didn't necessarily have, necessarily have to be right at that point uh, that these were for. So uh, thanks, Marty, for, um, for the puzzle. It was, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to issue this uh, kind of correction is that it kind of did a disservice to the puzzle to uh, to miss that extra extra twist that kind of gives the puzzle added depth that I didn't appreciate at the time. Uh, so so apologies to Marty. Uh, apologies to uh, you watching if you uh, you know thought I did it right and I did not. So uh, thanks everyone and uh, hope you have a good holiday.